Hey, Adam, I can't help noticing you seem to have a new piece of equipment in your shop. Eagle eyes, you are, you are absolutely right. The Savage Cave has received a brand new piece of toolage and it's like a fulfillment of a lifetime and I'm not even remotely joking. This right here behind me, the giant drill press that you're thinking that it looks like, it is kind of like a drill press except it's called a milling machine and it's a drill press on steroids that was also born of aliens and superheroes because if civilization fell we could rebuild it with this and my lathe over there. This bridge port has a uh, Dyna head, which means I can change its speed just by turning a crank. That's lovely. It was born around the time I was born. Actually, it's about a year younger than me, born in 1968, and the head is also from 1968. And I managed to get a pretty good deal on this because uh, it didn't have DRO, that's digital readout. That is um, nice gauges on the cross feed. See that? Those gauges give me absolutely precise measurements on the ways here. Um, I had unbolted this off the first really, really crappy mill that was at M7 many, many years ago. When we got rid of that mill and we really, we scrapped it for the weight of the metal because it was so beat up, I took off all of the components off of it, all the handles, all the DRO and the motors and all of that. So I've had the equipment sitting in my shop for 10 years now waiting for a Bridgeport mill. Yeah, for the machinists out there, I got a motor on the knee. <laughs> motor on the knee, man. That is luxury right there. Uh, for the non-machinists, you're just gonna have to ask a machinist why that's awesome. Let's have a little demo, shall we? So, right, it does look like a drill press on steroids, but one of the things that makes it so powerful is that it's on this giant 2,000 pound cast iron base, and that means nothing moves. Uh, and so what it does is it takes things and makes them smaller in very precise ways. Um, check this out. This is a bit of wrench shape. That's a, uh, a, a machining material that we use in model making all the time. I'm going to mill a channel out of the middle of it. So I'm going to bring my quill down about that. Clamp it. Bring it over here. Here we go. Now you can see the bit is carving away the material and leaving a really nice, perfectly rectangular channel. Now, I'm using a machining plastic for this, which means I can move fairly quickly. If you're machining aluminum or steel with this, you're gonna go at very different speeds. You're gonna use a lot of cooling fluid. You're gonna worry about chips and all of that stuff. But for model making, this is an amazing tool, and I cannot believe I have not yet owned a full-size bridge port. That's the truth. I have a baby one over there, but I have not owned a full-size one in my shop. You are going to be seeing this in many, many, many builds to come. And uh, the two of us are going to be very happy together.